Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some little bit more intriguing Best Buy news going on as of today, as well as also a little bit more information going on for the next upcoming drop, which it actually might be leading towards a little bit of a walk-in from some uh, information we've been kind of seeing over here and hearing some leaks and rumors on. So as you guys all know, it's been looking and feeling pretty good, uh, especially when it comes to just, you know, overall stock and stock numbers, as well as also we kind of, after we cover up a little bit of restock news, we actually have some pretty cool news on some even more brand new, like, AAA type... <laughs> <laughs> so games as you guys know i'm kind of sick over here uh games going on over here too as well so hope you guys don't mind if i kind of sound absolutely abysmally awful i am definitely gonna sound <laughs> pretty bad so i uh, wish you good luck on that one uh as well uh we just have a lot of stuff to go talk about at least it's good news at least it's good vibes and we'll go from there so i just want to give you guys a nice little video to give you guys more details so make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new playstation 5 giveaway amazon links down below for the ps5 disc digital console controller twitter and twitch room down below the weeble coinbase down below we have the target links down below and the twitter and twitch and all that good stuff as well down below and let's go and dive into the video itself so we have a lot of things to go and talk about so for this we've actually now been hearing kind of the same thing that we saw with target now if you guys saw the actually target stuff earlier on today we actually did go and see some intriguing information where it did look like the east coast side was getting and receiving some target playstation 5 stock but we actually heard some intriguing stuff now when it comes to best buy now at least the target leak itself is a little bit more on the legitimate side this one's from a little bit more of a newer source itself kind of seen it been floating around up on twitter and all that so i want to go give you guys a heads up with it but it would also make a lot of sense too as well so what's kind of going on over here and we'll probably talk about this a little bit more but basically up in the west coast side uh, apparently that was here and it was in the Idaho area where there's a, apparently a distribution center and area around this spot and then they apparently there's a like a 4,000 uh, PlayStation 5 console restock location area over there for them to go and have those pellets to be distributed towards the west coast side. Now, this is, like I said, not like the 100 Brazilian percent when it comes to, like, the, uh, like, you know, confirmed from, like, multiple different other sources and stuff like that, but it does seem pretty, pretty likely. Number one, based on the fact that we kind of usually have seen a lot of West Coast distribution leaks that have happened uh, just in general all around, but as well, it would make a lot of sense, too, because I think a lot of folks in the California region, when we had the last online Best Buy restock, that just literally happened. Uh, a lot of folks were like, yeah, we just didn't have a lot of stock. My location was sold out pretty quick. There wasn't a lot of additional um, waves when it comes to all their stock in general. So <laughs> when it comes to that, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm dying. <laughs> uh, when it comes to all that, we've been seeing a lot of stock overall. So just keep that in mind if you guys are on the West Coast. I think this is pushing more for walk-ins. So we did go have an online drop not that, that long ago. And we also have been still seeing a lot of, a little bit more of a lull when it comes to normal online restacks, so things like the PlayStation 5 or Xbox itself, we really haven't been seeing as as many up in stores themselves. So as you guys can have a chance to go and see the Xboxes too, there has been a few. Like there's even like a you know Xbox restock over here in like Agora Parkway up in Texas. But if you guys kind of look through all the entire map itself, or if you guys want to use the app glitch that we usually recommend, but we haven't seen, been seeing too many walk-ins when it comes to Best Buy, I will probably be watching that maybe throughout this upcoming week or so. So for this, uh, if you guys ever want to, this website <laughs> usually it does go and have the um, yeah, show like kind of like shows the overall stock. So before when we were seeing a lot more of the normal PlayStation 5 restocks themselves, we were seeing a lot more of those in general on the even app itself. So like we'd be like going to say California or whatever. I'd be like, okay, PS5, Xbox. But as you guys can kind of see, if you guys do a quick scroll through over here, we've just been seeing more and more and more, more on like the um, just GPUs. Like we're seeing GPUs pretty much everywhere. So I think that's going to be kind of the big reason why as well, because we just ha had a proper in-store restock. I'd probably say around maybe the past like two weeks or so. Now, as you guys know, we've been seeing and focusing more on Target and Best Buy. And it would make a lot of sense too, because we never actually saw Best Buy go do a PlayStation 5 digital restock same with target so both those locations never actually did the drop uh if you look at walmart walmart did do both and they had the stock like divvied out super quick same with gamestop too as well the stock was divvied out super 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 quick like basically like throughout that same uh week or so we also still funny enough have not seen amazon go and do any restocks as well for the brand new playstation 5 bundles and all of that so uh just keep that in mind that we are watching we're waiting to go and see what happens we're gonna see if there's more stock that shows up uh but at the end of the day i do think this fact that we're seeing warehouse leaks and warehouse stock showing up, I think it does add a lot to the merit when it comes to we'll be maybe seeing more of these walk-ins in the near future. 
It also did kind of seem like Best Buy was trying more so to focus on more walk-ins. Like throughout the past, I'd say like three months especially, we've been seeing a lot more Best Buy. It's just basically like we get stock, you go check your app glitch for your local area, and or you check like the website I'm showing up on the screen itself, and then you'd have a chance to see if there's any stock there. But I think the one big thing too is that uh, when it comes to checking with the app glitch itself, make sure you guys go and have the new SKU unit. So when it comes to the uh, the units themselves, uh, basically like the PlayStation and Xbox, they all have their own separate SKUs, same with the PlayStation 5 Digitals. So you just have to make sure if you guys are trying to start utilizing the app glitch itself that you guys want to go and uh, like just make sure you guys have the right proper numbers so you're not like looking for the wrong object. So uh, dates wise, we haven't usually seen as like we on occasion, we do see Best Buy do some nice uh, walk-ins on the weekends. I'd probably say this would probably start a little bit more in like seldom slash sporadic areas, probably more so still on the West Coast side. Uh, probably starting more so maybe like Monday, Tuesday. We've seen a lot more typically though with Best Buy is usually on the Wednesdays onwards. So usually for those, those will probably be the days we kind of care a little bit more about, uh, mainly just based on the usual trends in stock and stock numbers. Especially now that tar we were seeing Target getting a lot more stock as well. Uh, I think that kind of goes to show that the stock numbers are looking good. Uh, so like it kind of seems like Sony has been divvying out stock and sending stock out there. So uh, yeah, I do believe the leak itself too is also for the PS5 Horizon bundles from what we've had a chance to see. And we have not had a chance to see the PS5 Horizon bundles uh, in stores as of yet, just on the online drop itself. <laughs> Dude, and also I probably, I probably sound awful. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, <laughs> I just want to have maybe like a super nice good night's sleep and then uh, chill and we can kind of go from there as we can kind of hopefully recover a little bit. But when it comes to that stuff, looking good. We'll try to get more updates throughout the next few days. Uh, same with Target, too. It does kind of seem nice that we're seeing both these big retailers kind of getting back in the fray and doing stuff. And hopefully a lot of you guys can get that nice little snazzy uh, you know, app trick and get you guys some good stock. Or as well as you guys can kind of see on the website, there's so many GPUs everywhere. If you guys want to go creep on uh, your stores and try to get your GPUs. I know they're not as, as sought after as of this current moment. I think the PlayStation 5s are still up there, but... <laughs> at least at the end of the day, uh, you guys can still get your stock with it, which is nice to see. Now, as well, uh, besides the Best Buy news, which I would say is good, like we're seeing like a good amount of few thousand pallets is always nice to see, especially for West Coast, and that also may correlate over to you know, the Midwest and East Coast and everything else too as well. But I will go and say that at least when it comes to stock, we like seeing more drops. I mean, who doesn't like seeing that? So some intriguing stuff to kind of wind down the videos. I'm kind of chilling throughout the night because I thought it was kind of cool. We're actually now seeing even more uh, double whammy The Last of Us news coming out. So uh, if you guys had a chance to go and see, we saw this up on actually Reddit, funny enough, over here. And I saw the, the tweet itself. And this is, uh, you know, someone who's in a lot of the stuff in terms of more of like, you know, the Uncharted 4, working with Naughty Dog for a bunch of times, The Last of Us 2 game director, Uncharted, all that type of stuff too as well. So, kind of cool to go and see, but basically, The Last of Us Part 2 co-director Kurt Marwangu may be working on a brand new IP at Naughty Dog. It was announced by Neil Druckmann during the Summer Game Fest that Vint Argwal and Anthony Newman are co-directing the Factions multiplayer project. That means that Kurt and third co-director of The Last of Us Part 2, besides Neil and Anthony, is working independently or alongside Neil on an actually brand new independent game too as well. And as you guys probably know, when it comes to uh, Naughty Dog, I think they probably do make some of the best games out there. Like, I'm talking, like, Pinnacle. I'm talking, like, I love seeing their games. I love seeing the, the hookup. I love seeing them getting their like, just brand new games in general. And I do kind of feel like for the Sony IPs, I do enjoy them. Like, we have the Ratchet and Clanks, the God of Wars, uh, you know, Last of Us and all of that. Like, they're great. Don't get me wrong. But I think the one biggest struggle with all of it is that, I mean, we sometimes want new IPs to be on the lookout for on two instead of just, like, sequels over and over and over again. I'm sure a lot of you guys kind of agree on that one, but like, at least for me, I like, I don't mind sequels. I don't hate them. Like, don't get me wrong. Uh, but like new IPs are exciting and they're good and like they're exciting. I also want to mind seeing like a proper more uh, multiplayer <laughs> when it comes to this stuff. So just letting you guys all know the multiplayer does seem to have some potential. I do like it. Uh, but as well, a brand new IP sounds so much better. As also, if you guys have had a chance to see, I do believe the last of us as well. I think it's all pretty much fully done filming, I believe. So this should be now into the editing stage where a lot more folks will be able to go and uh, basically finish up the actual animation and finish up the actual post and make it so we could actually start watching this. And I'm pretty excited. I think The Last of Us has actually had a lot of news this past week or so. So at the end of the day, it's kind of cool. <laughs> it's kind of cool and kind of neat. So give me your thoughts and comments all <laughs> down below. Uh, sorry about the, the sickness. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm just trying my best here. And uh, I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. 
as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console controller, Twitter and Twitch room down below, the Weeple Coinbase down below, um, the Target links down below, Best Buy and stuff like that as well, all down below. And I'll see you guys probably tomorrow for more videos and like the Xbox showcase and all that type of stuff. All right, I love you guys.